Moving right along, we have the back side of this movement. I call it the back side. You can call it the front side, but it's the dial side. Uh, we're going to put in some jewels, get the gear train installed, you name it. But before we do anything, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this guy right here. This is part of the uh, escape wheel, one of the escape wheel jewels. The other side is a balance, uh, balance, yikes, shockproof jewel, which I did not take apart. I cleaned it, manually, physically looked at it. I don't have very good luck with those springs. I've broken every one I ever worked on, and I'm not paying attention here. I put that jewel in upside down. I wonder if anybody else caught that. And this will get a little bit more oil on the other side when I'm done as well. So, uh, yeah, those little tiny springs I don't have any luck with. I don't have, I mean, I have some spares, but I don't want to waste them. Because I have yet to not break one. So I just clean it physically. Check it with a strong loop. Make sure it's clean before installing. Whoops. There we go. So there's the escape wheel uh, jewel. And next is the, uh, what do you call that? the balance jewels. These are shock proof as well. Both sides. Let's get a zoom in on that if we can. Can't zoom in too tight because then I can't see what I'm doing. There's a flat side and a curved side. And I'm trying to figure out which is which here. There's the flat side. Okay. I'm sure people have seen this many times, but I'd like to show it anyway. I come in with my tweezers on the left and I hang on to it. A little bit of oil on the capstone, turn the other one over, and place it on top. Come on. Yeah, it's sticking to it from the oil. Well, that's a good sign. Alright, now we're going to drop that in. Let's get that back in focus. And this takes considerably less time when you don't have to work around a microscope. Without this microscope, sorry, that was in the sh not in the shot, but I, I just dropped it in here. Uh, working around this microscope adds a bit of time Come on, settle in there. So it, it doesn't take all this time. It's just, that's the way it is, working around apparatus. What is the singular of apparatus? Apparati? I don't know. Could be. So, shock spring. We have two. These are delicate little buggers. Oh yeah, yeah, these are delicate. Come on. I just picked up both of them. Come on, Doby. There we go. Make sure we're in the shot. 
here's our shock spring and I might have to take this out of the shot to get it installed I gotta identify where the opening is first can I see it from the no now I gotta look closely Wow can I even see it close very tiny very delicate come on okay gonna take it I'm sorry I'm out of the shot I'm trying to get a trying to get a visual on this thing aye, aye, aye. Ah. Bear with me. I'm still working on it. Now. Hmm. Yes, this is what takes the time. Setting up the shot. I want to rotate that 180 degrees or just reposition it. Okay, how's that look? It's kind of like standing up there. I got the two legs in here. The third leg, we're going to pop into that little cavity, I hope. Let's see how it goes. Let's hope it's in the shot, actually. I'm going to move this out of the way. Focus. I don't want to break these. Probably shouldn't have said that. There's a successful install. Well, isn't that nice? And it looks centered. What do you think? That looks pretty good. Well, there you go. This calls for a drink. All right. Now we're going to turn this over, get the main gear train installed, lubricated, and with that, the mainspring. Woohoo! All right. What do we have? Let's start with Let's start with a dab of oil for the balance uh, the my goodness escape wheel right over there. Just a little just to make sure we got enough since I had to flip that over. So in the, the order here, we have escape wheel first. All right. And we have this guy, I believe goes there. No. Yeah. Yes. Now I got a fuzzball. Hmm. Get the blower out. Get rid of the fuzzball. I'm not sure that goes there. Why not? Why am I not sure of that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, 
one, two, three, four, and then you got that in the middle. See, I'm just kind of winging this as I go, but for some reason, I am a little mixed up. Oh, I think this one went next. There we go. So we got this mainspring driving this, which drives this pinion. There we go. That makes sense. Then we have this guy who drives from there to Okay, was there a wheel on a pinion on that? No, no pinion on that. I didn't think so. Come on. You got to be patient with me here. Um, first time putting this together fully. Other than that little dry run we had last night. Shouldn't have taken that out, shouldn't I? Should have left it in there. Do, 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 do. Need more drink. So there's that. Uh, we have this this fairly large triple sided, well, double sided. It's got a spacer in the middle. And I'm going to put a little bit of lube in there. A lightweight oil. Just a little bit there and turn it over get that on the other side that'll wick in there pull it in keep everything nice and slick I'm sure the viscosity of the oil will help to um, Keep everything nice and slick, obviously. Maybe add a little tension. Come on. And keep that second hand stutter from appearing if it ever does. Okay, come on, let's get back in there. These can be tedious on it. Uh, let's get in the shot. Stupid. This can be tedious on any movement. Trust me. Uh, painfully tedious. One, two, three, four, five. So for this, we need to line up five staffs. I think everything is settled. I hope so. I don't want to get too long-winded here. I don't like, well, I don't know how to edit any of these things, so I'm not going to bother. So, before we put this bridge on, we're doing a smear of oil on that bridge. I know it's not in the shot, but I'll show you. The jewel that has the shock spring. I just put some lightweight oil in. Okay, how is this going to work? Is it going to fight me? Chances are it will. Sometimes you get lucky and it falls right into place. I doubt I'll have that much luck. I really do. That doesn't help me. Let's come around here. Mm-hmm. Give it a nudge.
Okay, how do we look? I'm sorry if I was out of the shot. It's just a matter of grabbing a wheel, tinkering with it. Okay, see that whole assembly moving now? That's because of that oil in this clinging to these gears, keeping everything together. So that's a good sign. You can screw that down. Technically, these are not screws. Does anybody... Yeah, like I'm talking to a classroom. The difference between a screw and a bolt. A bolt technically is not a bolt unless it is paired with a nut. If it doesn't have a nut, it is a screw, regardless of the type of head. Phillips slotted or hexagon. So anybody in the car business who's ever taken a, an engine apart, there are no head bolts. Technically they are screws, but we call them head bolts. So how are we looking? Look at that. We're looking like I know what I'm doing. I got everybody fooled. We're going to snug up on that and snug up on that. So, I am going to end for now. Actually, I'm not. Let's, let's put a little grease in here. And by grease, I mean oil. A medium weight oil for here. this is where all the power is being delivered from. So these are high tension points. All right. There's that side. I already did the escape wheel and we come back to this side get it in the shot give it a smear smear it around that's a bit much okay moving right along like I said, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. It's frightening. So, end this because it's getting too long. Stay tuned.